We really tried to, to make a context in amidst all of this change, uh, both in contingent workforces and in FTE workforces, generative AI, digitization, skills, how can, how can organizations really get ahead of the curve or at least keep up with all of the change and disruptions as they're looking for, uh, looking for more flexible and on-demand solutions for their workforce as they're looking to become more agile. Um, and as, as the workforce is changing, looking for more freedom, looking for more independence, looking for perhaps, you know, we've talked about on the past, we've talked about layoffs, looking for more stability, which is a little bit of a paradox uh, in this situation. But generally speaking, we feel like there's been this topic of total talent management. And if you've been in the contingent workforce industry for a few years, you, you've heard that term undoubtedly. It hasn't really gained, um, it hasn't really gained a lot of traction. But again, the events over the past few years, um, changes in, in working styles, again, more changes in relationship between workers and employers, certainly technological technology advances um, have started to enable this idea of a total uh, talent strategy or a total workforce uh, approach. There's probably five or six different terms that people are trying to use, I guess, competing terms to, to take their market share. But the idea is, how do you, how do you create a unified workforce where you have all different segments of workers, not just FTEs or not just FTEs and you know so-called so contingent workers on the other side, but how do you access all of that talent? How do you deploy all of that talent uh, in a timely fashion, You know, increasing your employment brand, all the things you do with your FTE workforce, with your contingent workforce and looking at it as unified, while of course, making sure you're staying on the right side of, of, of compliance issues. So. Our goal here when we created this research was not to create some sort of maturity model. Um, we don't feel like the practice of workforce planning itself, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been around for a while, but it's not been fully adopted in organizations, I think, as there's a call to. And then certainly including the extended workforce or contingent workforce, there's really not enough variance in practices to create a maturity model. What we wanted to do was start a conversation, maybe be a little bit provocative about this to, to advance that conversation. So.